Hey, I'm Juan Esteban Garcia, and in this video, I'm going to show you the best and the easiest way to send and receive messages using the WhatsApp Business Cloud API. And not only send and receive, but I will also show you how to chat in real time with your clients or with your users or your customers. And if you remember in the previous video that we recorded, we show you how to do this using a visual automation platform called Make. And we'll be using the same tool in this video. And by the way, you don't have to watch that video. I'll be covering everything that you need to know in this video. But if you remember one of the challenges that we were having is that even though we were able to send and receive messages using this API and using Make, the problem is that it was really, really difficult for us to chat with our customers because you can send messages and you can receive them, but there's not a nice uh, interface that you can use to chat the same way that you would when you're using, for example, the, the WhatsApp application in your computer. So we will resolve that in this video. And before we get started and before I show you how to do this, I want to show you a quick demo of exactly what we will be building in this video. Okay, so let's take a look. If you see here in my screen, uh, I am using a tool called Calendly. And if you remember in the previous video, we were just using a regular Google Sheets to keep track of all the different appointments that we have. But in this case, we're going to use a, a more advanced tool. And basically with Calendly, you can schedule a meetings with people. And so in this case, uh, you see that I'm using this link that I have here. And let's say that I want to schedule an appointment with Mr. Juan Esteban Garcia yours truly and I'm going to click here for example 5 p.m. and I'm going to say oh Juan Garcia and I'm going to use this email and in this case I want to get a text message uh, when for example there is an update or something or a reminder and so I'm going to put here this test phone number that we're going to use in this video and I'm simply going to schedule the event. Oh, and before we do that, I need to run this. I'm going to listen for new. By the way, this is only because I was already doing something here, but I'm going to schedule this event. Let's see what happens. So you see that it did work. And I just got a message saying appointment confirmed. Hey, Juan Garcia. I'm Juanes and I wanted to let you know that your appointment was confirmed. I'll see you soon. In the meantime, feel free to check out, our, check out our website and learn more about our services. Excellent. All right. So you see here that this is working. And by the way, if I come back here to WhatsApp, for example, I reply something like, okay, thank you. If I do that, then you see that I get the message here. And, and basically, this is what I meant, that you have the option to, uh, to have real-time communication. Uh, with your users and I will also show you how to receive messages but I'm, I don't want to get ahead of myself and without further ado let's actually get started all right so as I said before we're going to use make which is a visual automation platform and by the way if you don't have a make account if you use the link that you're going to find in the comment section of this video you will be able to create a make pro account completely free for three months. So that basically means that you'll be saving $27. And basically you can visualize me just putting my hand in your pocket and leaving there $27. Okay, that's basically what I will be doing for you. So use that link if you want to get three months completely for free. Now, having said that, I'm going to create a new scenario here. And the first thing that we're going to do is we want to connect Calendly because this is the tool that we're going to use. And by the way, you don't have to use Calendly. You can use Acuity, you can use your own tool, you can use Google Calendar, it can be whatever you want. In this case, I'm using Calendly because yeah, it's a tool that is very useful and that we use a lot. So I'm going to watch here for events. And basically what I'm telling Make is that, hey, I want you to pay attention and make sure that whenever there is a new event, it, that you receive a notification, that's all. So I'm going to create a new account here. Oh, and by the way, uh, well, I'm going to create a new hook, but actually you need to create a new connection. I am not going to do it because I already did it. But if you click here, you'll be able to connect your Calendly account with uh, Make. And so that's basically what we will be doing. 
and you see that in this case I want to be notified whenever there is a new event created okay you can also receive notifications for example when an event is cancelled or something like that but in this case let's keep it simple and I'm only going to go with created I'm going to select here an organization which is the only organization that I have in this account that's all I'm gonna hit save okay save again and now I'm going to run this and let's actually see if this is working all right, so what I'm gonna do to confirm that this works is that I'm going to schedule a new event. And again, Juan Garcia, and I'm going to put here my phone number. And by the way, this is not my real phone number. And I'm going to put it here, schedule event. Let's see if it works. No, this is not the, yeah, this is the one. So you see that it did work, excellent. And you see that here we got a lot of the information. So for example, we know uh, the, the phone number and we also have the name, we also have the email. Basically we have everything that we need. So now that we have this information, now that we know that this integration is working, I'm going to use Wasapi. And by the way, in case you don't know what Wasapi is, Wasapi is basically WhatsApp with superpowers. And so Wasapi, makes use of the WhatsApp API to basically enable a lot of different features that are not available in your regular WhatsApp app, in the app that you have in your phone. And among those things, for example, you can send mass messages. So for example, if you want to send uh, 20, 100, 1,000, 2,000, 100,000 messages to your users, if you want to create marketing campaigns, WhatsApp lets you do that. Or if you want to create a chatbot, or if you want to use advanced integrations uh, with wasapi uh, and with the whatsapp api basically whatsapp lets you do all of that and this is actually one of the use cases that you can do with wasapi and so I i'm just going to simply send a whatsapp template and again uh, no actually let me show you something here if i search for the whatsapp business cloud uh, module you will see that this one it lets you basically use everything that we're going to do here, but the difference, and this is a huge difference, and this is a, a showstopper for a lot of people, is that if you send a message or if you receive a message, you don't have a way to communicate in real time with your people. And for example, if I come here, you'll see that I have this nice interface, which is basically a replica of the, of the WhatsApp uh, interface. And here you can just have real time communication uh, with people and I'll show you more about that in a second. So having said that, we're going to use Wasapi for this. Let me delete this module. Wasapi and I'm going to send a WhatsApp template. And by the way, in case you don't know what a WhatsApp template is, I just want you to know that here in the channel, we have a lot of videos covering those topics. And even in the, in the Wasapi documentation, you will learn how to make use of the WhatsApp templates. All right, so here, this is what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to create a new connection, okay? So I'm going to, I need to generate an API key from WhatsApp and basically with this API key, we will be able to connect to WhatsApp and obtain the information that we need. How do we do it? Well, it's pretty simple, my friend. I'm going to come here to the developer page and you see that I have here a lot of API keys. And I am going to create a new one and let's call it make integration like this. And you see that it generates an API key for you. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it here and the system will validate if it works and it does, excellent. And so now what I'm going to do is, hey, I want you to send the message to this phone number. Where is it? Here it is. And I also want you to send this a specific template. So it will say appointment confirmed. Hey, I'm Juanes and I wanted to let you know that your appointment was confirmed, etc. I'm going to replace this with the actual name of this person because we want to make it like personalized. Excellent. Well, this, this should work now. Let's see if it does. How do we test this? Well, I'm going to come back here to Calendly. I'm going to schedule another appointment, Mr. Juan Garcia, and I'm going to paste here, oops, I pasted the wrong thing, 
United States, this, schedule event. All right, excellent. And so you see that I did receive uh, the message once again. So it says here appointment confirmed, hey Juan Garcia, etc. And so if I actually come back here, you see that it shows you that this was processed. And by the way, whenever you're ready to go live with this, you just need to turn this on here. And uh, this way the integration will work even if we're not clicking on this wrong ones uh, button every time that we want to do it. So, all right, so you see here that this is working. And by the way, if I come back here to WhatsApp, so if, for example, I reply something like, okay, thank you. If I do that, then you see that I get the message here. And, and basically this is what I meant that you have the option to, uh, to have real time communication uh, with your users. All right, so let's see now how to receive messages. And by the way, I mean, you see here that that, that we were able to receive messages and this is working and this is, I mean, this is perfect. However, if we want to take this one step further, let's say that, for example, you have your own application and you want to receive a notification whenever there is a new message. I don't know, maybe because, for example, you're uh, asking for a specific uh, information about the customer and then you want to validate it in your own database or whatever. It can be whatever you want. and you want to receive messages, then that's what I'm going to show you because here it's just a, a standard way for you to chat with people, but I'm going to take this one step farther. And actually, before we continue with this video, I want to invite you to subscribe to this channel, clicking on the subscribe button that you're going to find below this video, and also to click like, because that way you will let people know and you will also help other people find this kind of content. And again, this, is, this can be game changer for a lot of people. So just click on the buttons below and thank you for your support. All right, let's see now how to receive messages, okay? So this is actually looking good and I'm going to create here a new scenario. So create a new scenario, excellent. And what I'm going to do is in this case, I'm going to use here WhatsApp, but in this case, we just want to watch new messages, okay? We wanna get a notification whenever there is a new message. And again, the same logic applies. I'm just going to add here a new webhook and you see that it gives me a URL. And basically with this URL, you have a like an endpoint that is going to be used to receive notifications. And so how does this work? If I come back here to the developer section, you see that I have here webhooks, okay? And with a webhook, basically a webhook, in case you don't know what it is, is just a way for you to send notifications to a specific URL when an event occurs in your app. And, and just to make it simple, in this case, what we want to do is we want to tell WhatsApp, hey, whenever someone sends us a new message, I want you to send a notification to this URL. So I'm going to paste it here. And you see that, that I have different webhooks. I mean, we can receive a notification, for example, when there is a new contact or when the contact is updated or deleted, etc. We're not going to focus on those for now. I'm just going to click here where it says save and let's see if, if this works. So I'm going to run this once. Wait a minute. It is asking me to, oh, it is asking me to click here. Hit save, run once, excellent. Now let's send a message. Hey Juanes, see if it works. So you see that I immediately get a notification and here it shows me the data. So it says, hey Juanes, this is the message. It also shows me the WhatsApp ID and a lot of information that in this case, we don't really care that much. So now that we know that this is working, this is what we're going to do. I actually have here a Google spreadsheet. And so if you see here, this is, this is a very simple spreadsheet. And by the way, you don't have to use a Google a spreadsheet. I'm only showing you this because I just want to help illustrate the kind of things that you can do with this, but you don't have to use this. You can use your own integration. You can use your own app, whatever you want. In this case though, what we want to do is we want to insert a new row whenever there is a new message. So how do we do it? Well, it's pretty simple, my friend. I'm just going to click here where it says Google Sheets and I'm going to add a new row. And by the way, you will have to create your own connection and your Google connection. In this case, I already took care of all of that. And I'm going to click here on spreadsheet ID. 
And you see that I, that I have one called WhatsApp responses. Okay, so now that I chose this one, I'm going to pick this sheet, the only one that it has. And here in the phone number, I am going to use this WhatsApp ID and in the response, I'm going to use message. Okay, it's as simple as that. We're just going to click OK and let's run this once more. So if I say, hey, how can I cancel my appointment? Let's pretend that I just sent this. All right. And let's see what happens. Great. It worked. And so you can see here that it automatically received the notification. And I mean, I, I'm also able to, for example, continue a communication here. Uh, oh, sure. Uh, why do you want to cancel? So you see that I send the message and then I can continue the conversation here. And I mean, I can do all sorts of things. But in this case, I mean, I just wanted to show you the kind of things that you can do with this tool. I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope that the content that you saw here and the information that you learned is very useful. There are a lot of things that you can do with these use cases and with this information that I show you here. I hope that you enjoyed it. And I also want to invite you to watch this next video that you will find here because this is something that is also going to expand this knowledge and will show you a lot of different things that you can do not only in your app, but also in your business. Thank you so much until the next time.